Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had an amazing week and you guys, it has been so freaking crazy busy for me in real life when it comes to work, my daily stuff and trying to get videos up and I'm kind of disappointed that I haven't really been able to post as much get famous content as I would have liked. You guys know whenever a new pack comes out, I always tend to like flood out my channel with builds gameplays, everything like that. But this week, it's just real life happens, guys. <laughs> and I just have not been able to, and I wasn't even in town for like two or three of the days that like as soon as the pack released. So yeah, I do have a bunch of larger builds that I have been working on in the new Del Sol Valley, larger builds that are like 50, 40 by 50. And you guys, I never build on those lots, but the more that I actually am in the world and build, like normally I would be like, okay, we need smaller lots and whatever, but if you do use terrain tools, actually you're gonna wanna build on a larger lot because if you wanna build up a hill or have like any bit of terrain around, it kind of works a lot better on a larger lot. And I ended up building this like family home that you guys are gonna be seeing next week. It was supposed to go up today. But I fell asleep <laughs> and I never even was able to get it finished so this morning I'm like oh my god I need to get some kind of a build done and I think I was just so motivated to get in here and like build with terrain tools and I've been looking at everybody's amazing freaking pictures over on Twitter and on Instagram which if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I've actually went ahead and made my account public so you will be able to follow me over there and it's just the same username as here on YouTube, Kristen Marie XO. And I've been trying to post more regularly there as well, which yeah, off topic, I guess. But um, yeah, so I've been seeing everybody do these builds and I really wanted to do a really nice large family home because I do feel like a lot of you guys ask for that a lot that are just like, tons of rooms. It's definitely going to be like an eight plus sim home because it's three levels. And this home only took me, I think it was like an hour and 10 minutes. So this is of course, yes, a one bedroom, one bathroom, but it's actually really cute, really cozy. And I really just wanted to use the window boxes everywhere. And I love that there are like so many different colors of the actual like wood painted on the box. So yeah, I'm using this freaking little toy car and one of the things that drives me absolutely insane like it's the biggest tease in the dull soul valley world it's all of the vehicles that are like all around the world so if you look further down the street at like where the other residential spot is there's like vehicles all over the place um like all up and down the road. Oh my gosh, I forgot to turn my phone off. <laughs> now I'm distracted. But when you go into, I don't think it's here. Yeah, just down the street into the next lot. There's like vehicles that are parked on the side of the road. There's like campers. And we've been zooming in. Me and Rosa have been like playing around with like looking at them. And we're kind of upset by like how much of a tease it is. Because if you are a builder that does like realistic builds, just even if they are not a playable item, just to have them in your game to be able to build with would make like a world of difference. Especially with like that camper one, I think that would be so cute to do like, I don't know, like a suburban traditional that has like the summer camper, you know, it parked in the driveway or in the garage, which I'm living in suburban, <laughs> suburbia, I don't know what you would call it, and I don't have a camper. I would love to have a camper. They're freaking expensive. But um, yeah, so this home originally, I didn't know the style that I wanted to build with it. You will see that it does change quite a bit because originally I was gonna do something that was a little bit more fancier with like the marble and the granite on the floor or I think it's called granite or it's marble flooring, I guess. But I do end up changing it so that it kind of matches like the outside traditional feel of the home. And it looks so cute. I love it. And there's actually quite a big bedroom in this home. So if you do want to start building like or having a family in this home, I think that you still could have enough space to actually make a kid's bedroom. And there also is like a bonus room over on the other side it's like a teeny teeny tiny shed garage 
kind of a thing I seen a home like this on Pinterest and I was like oh my gosh I need to like do something like that and I ended up making it a fitness room I used to use those all the time in my builds oh my gosh my dream home would definitely have a fitness room in it for sure I oh my gosh goals <laughs> but if you did end up having a child that needed a little bit of extra space you could even put their bedroom out there just because it's like really not that far from the home and I think it could actually turn out really cute so yeah you can see the bedroom it is just so large so the home that I do have coming up in one of the other ones it's kind of been helping me figure out how to use the train tools a little bit more and it's actually so easy once you do catch on like it for sure took me quite a while before I was able to actually use it comfortably because I feel like whenever I was doing a build like the first 20 minutes I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> I was just like raising up the mountains and just like okay how do we like flatten this out what are we gonna do here but now I feel like I definitely am working with it a little bit easier so if you guys would like to see some kind of like a terrain tool review or like a tutorial on how to actually use it easily definitely let me know I haven't really seen too many like tutorials on how to use it and I mean you guys might be like well it's not that hard <laughs> we really don't need a tutorial but either way I would love to know what you guys would like to see with like the new get famous and I also still plan on doing my let's play it's just gonna be like a week late because I really wasn't able to get things together like I thought I would and just like a heads up it's gonna be like a sim self kind of like not rigs to riches but I'm definitely gonna be living in like a starter home and trying to like I don't know become like famous <laughs> and I thought it would be a lot of fun to do that and definitely have like Lily and Luna in it but I feel like one of the things that's really holding me off on getting that started is actually making my sim self like I am so bad at making like real life people in the sims like it's definitely a lot of fun to try to do it but I'm actually like not that good at it and I know that <laughs> so trying to do like a sim self I actually did one quite a while ago I don't know if I ever posted it but it was actually a sim self that I done but it was when I was like obsessed with alpha CC instead of like the Maxis match so I still need to do like a bunch of CC shopping so I need to like find a hair that looks like mine there's there's like a couple I guess in base game but I want her, I want her to look cuter than me <laughs> in real life so um, yeah I think that would be a lot of fun so I've kind of been looking on the gallery for like a starter home just because when I play I kind of like to use other simmers um, homes just because it's like a completely new game completely new save and I really just kind of like exploring others build as well so I've kind of been putting things together so hopefully by the end of next week we will have that started and I'm not too sure if it's gonna be like a one day a week or two I'm kind of thinking it might be two because I don't know depending on like how into it we all are it might end up being some kind of like a legacy <laughs> kind of like a legacy let's play or something like that but um yeah so this home I did try to make sure that there also wasn't like too much clutter all around the home just because like it is such a small home that you guys see I didn't really want to make it too hard for like actual gameplay and originally I was gonna set up like a gamers room out in that like little shed area so if you did want to experiment with that or the music table there is like a lot of room you can kind of place everything out there and you'll see where I did try to like start off like that and then I was like no I think I think you know exercise equipment <laughs> I think that could be a little bit cuter but yeah if you did want to play around with like the new stuff that does come with this pack you definitely have a lot of space for that so if there are any other kind of builds that you guys would like to see me do whether it is like a fashionista apartment which is definitely something that I do want to work on 
Over the next week, I've just kind of been holding off on the different like apartment ideas that I have so that I can build with like the hills and mountains <laughs> and stuff like that. So there definitely will be some apartments coming up with the new Get Famous stuff. So let me know if there are like any kind of designs that you guys would like to see. So like, of course, like I said, I am going to be doing like a fashionista one, definitely going to be doing some kind of like a gamer or like a YouTuber apartment. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have so many ideas and builds to come. So if you guys did enjoy this build, as always, make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know that you guys did enjoy. And I also will be posting this into the gallery. I'm not sure if it's gonna be up like as soon as the video goes up. So if this is a build that you do wanna download, um, definitely look for it on the um, on the gallery and just use my hashtag Kristen Marie XO and also place your move objects before you add this and definitely consider subscribing if you have not already I do post regularly sometimes I attempt to do daily <laughs> videos of all things Sims and make sure to follow me over on Insta if you have not already and hopefully I'm going to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.